Welcome to another video on web development with Flask and Python. My name is Ronak Vyas and this video is a collaboration with Programming Knowledge. In the previous video, we talked about an introduction to Flask and also saw what the final project is going to look like. In this video, we'll set up the base uh, and develop a hello world using Flask and also uh, see how our direct directory structure or how our folder for Flask application looks like. So just before we start uh, coding up our web application and also start the basics of Flask, let's just see how the final web application looks like again. So this is how it looks like. Uh, we are going to make a push-ups logger to implement basic uh, functionalities uh, for web, which is one, CRUD, create, update, and delete, where uh, users can create uh, or add new workouts, update the workouts, and also delete them. Uh, this is uh, the idea is similar to what the Flask documentation uh, provides as a tutorial, which is a making of blogging application. So, since all the tutorials uh, on the internet are about making a blog using Flask, uh, I have just uh, made a few changes in the idea where instead of writing a blog, you uh, log your push ups or workouts because during this quarantine, uh, I need something to track my workouts and this is a very simple idea to do so and also helps me learn about Flask much easily. The second thing is uh, user authentication where you can uh, add or sign up as a user and also log in, uh, track your own personal workout and then log out. So this is what we'll be building. This is how the final application looks like and we'll be developing the entire thing from scratch. Now let's get started. Let me just close my application, the one which we had made. So. In the previous uh, episode, we uh, made a folder inside inside our uh, directories. Where inside this folder, we'll be have we'll be having all of our uh, files. And let's just see, we are there. Okay, so we are inside that. Uh, or just one uh, structure before that. And let's uh, open this up. So I've opened this up using VS Code, but you can use any. Uh, code editor or text editor you want to use. Uh, I'm comfortable with VS Code, so I'll be using that uh, during my entire uh, tutorial. So uh, we see here that uh, we can just uh, develop, uh, you know, something called as a hello.py application uh, file, where we just uh, directly code up our application and start the server running. But since this is not uh, going to be your, you know, uh, just a very basic flash tutorial we'll be actually developing a project so we'll be doing everything uh, in a way a project should look like so we'll be having files which only handle user authentication we'll have files which only handle you know the create update delete functionality and everything will be fragmented and uh, like a professional uh, project which you can put up on your resume so we'll not be following the usual way uh, how Flask applications are built. There's nothing wrong with this. Uh, this can be completely done. Uh, as a Flask says, it offers suggestions, but it does not force anything on you. Uh, it is not opin opinionated. So you can make your Flask applications any way you like. Uh, I'll be showing it the way I prefer it or the way I'm comfortable using it because it helps me debug the errors pretty quickly. So, and during the course of building the application, we'll be uh, going through some concepts in Flask, which we'll be talking about. So let's get started. So the first thing, uh, instead of making a hello.py, uh, we'll be making uh, an init.py. Um, so let's just go ahead and make that first and then we can talk about how to do it. So let me just run my, set up my VS code again. Just throwing in some errors, that's fine. And go back so we'll uh, talk about why we went back to our uh, parent directory and not inside this uh, in a second but let's start uh, let's make a new file in it dot py it has uh, two double underscores before and after the name and this is going to be uh, the first file in the project that runs whenever you run the project so whenever you run the project, this is the first file that is going to run. That is why it's called the init.py or the initial file that runs. Don't worry about the .vs code uh, folder here. Uh, it, is, it only 
uh, deals with the environment I'm using and other such basic functionalities and only focus on uh, init.py so we have closed. let's uh, first import flask so import sorry from flask import the flask class that is the first thing which we do uh, next uh, we are going to make something called as uh, a create app function so this is a function uh, for which the name has to be create app because it is uh, given by flask we are going to override that to make our own application so first let's make an instant of our application so app is going to be flask and the name uh, parameter which is going to be the name of our project uh, which will be if you're not later and we're going to just return the instance so this is a very very simple basic structure of our application uh, we have we cannot run the application yet but uh, this shows how to import flask and create an application using init.py uh, every uh, project which becomes very complicated as we go requires a fragmentation and dividing dividing them into different files which handle each uh, feature uh, singularly so init.py will, will deal with everything uh, that has to be set up only once so setting up the instance, we'll be doing that only once. Uh, we'll be setting up the database once and also the login features at, uh, one at once for each instance. So all the you know, uh, user ID codes and uh, setting up the database, uh, the code for that will be inside this init.py file. And now let's go ahead and set up uh, the main function. So let's start uh, by setting up the directory structure. So what uh, we have two functionalities we have crud which is create update delete functionalities and we have our authentication functionality which is logging in a user signing up logging out etc so we need two files one which handles the create update delete uh, which is the main feature so we call that main.py and the second thing which we want is for authentication so auth.py so these two files will be uh, main.py will be handling the create update delete uh, or showing the home page and the profile page all those sorts of features and auth.py will deal with uh, logging in and how to log in how to sign up etc let's focus on main.py and set up our hello world for now so let's import flask uh, let's use flask to import some basic things which we need so we need something called as blueprint uh, which we'll talk about in a second and render template so first uh, we're going to initialize this uh, main uh, file uh, as a part of our flask application so main equal to blueprint main and the project name which is name now what is blueprint in flask so blueprint is a way to actually organize your files inside a flask project so uh, i want uh, my Flask structure to know that main, everything inside main uh, has a name main blueprint and all the files and all the functions inside this file will be accessed through the blueprint for main so if I have you know uh, an index a function uh, if I have a profile function which handles all the profile information uh, I can access that anywhere in the flask structure using main dot index or main dot profile so I'm setting up a blueprint for my Flask project and for that uh, Flask provides you a blueprint function for you to do so. Now uh, we need a decorator uh, for every single Flask uh, function we make. So we have the main because we are handling, we have a main blueprint here and we route it to home. So this is a decorator which overrides some functionalities for your own uh, application. I'll give you a link down below to understand how decorators work uh, by this YouTuber called Ascorisha Fair. He has uh, a tutorial on Flask uh, on how to build a blog using Flask and also how decorators work. So let's make up our index function or the home and just return hello world for now. And we have our hello world ready, but it's not quite done yet. We want our application to uh, talk or communicate with main.py right uh, we want our application to find something called as main.py uh, when the application runs so the first file which runs when you have 
uh, you, you run project is init.py, right? So let's give it, uh, let's communicate with main.py using something called as register blueprint. So we go to from dot main. So this is where our main file is. We import main, which is the name here. We import this instance of the blueprint. And this is a main blueprint. So let's give it a name for readability. We'll be focusing on code re readability and uh, following good practices along the way. So make sure that you do that as well. And let's register our blueprint. So we use register blueprint and main underscore blueprint. Now we have registered our blueprint and we can run the hello world application. But we'll just go a one step further and uh, make sure we have all our functions ready. So this is going to be our main function or the home page for our website. And now we'll go and set up a profile link. So main dot route is going to be profile where you can see the profile of a person and we'll call it a profile as well. And let's just return uh, something called as profile here for now. And we're good to go. Now we have a uh, very simple basic functionality is ready here, which is uh, the home page and the profile page. And let's set up the authentication uh, routes as well. So sorry about that. From Flask import blueprint. Again, we have to have an authentication blueprint as well and render template. We'll talk about render template in a minute, uh, how to actually show HTML pages using Flask. But for now, let's set up our auth blueprint. Blueprint, the name is auth as the name of the file and the name of the project, which is by underscore name. Now, uh, we'll have an auth root here, auth.route. And we need something called a sign up first. Define sign up. And for now, let's just return something called as uh, this page will be used to sign up users. And now, after signing up, we have, they have to log in. So let's make a login page. Again, auth.route. And my bad, it has to be after the slash. That's going to be a next page. Login. And let's return that this page will be used to log in users. Just do a full stop because I want to. And now that users have signed up and logged in, the next thing which they can do is log out. So let's give them a way to do this as well. So use this to log out. For now, we're just printing uh, text on the web page, nothing else. Uh, we haven't started printing HTML pages yet. We'll do that in a minute. Uh, for now, we'll just print up text messages on the screen because we're going to set up a hello world uh, for now and also set up the directory structure. So as you can see, we have two files, main, which talks about how to, uh, which talks about the main features, which is uh, create applications, which we'll talk about in a minute, and also the home file and profile. And we have the auth page, which deals with only signing up, logging in, logging out, etc., etc. So yeah, I think we're done. Uh, now we have to make the auth.py page communicate with the project. We do the same thing here. Uh, as we did for main from dot auth import auth as auth blueprint app dot register blueprint auth and now our uh, application is ready to run uh, to just run a hello world application so before we do that uh, i'll be skipping some concepts here or some uh, explaining some pretty simple python concepts so make sure that you have uh, some experience with Python before you jump on to uh, building web applications using it. So I'll be uh, skipping some Python concepts. Uh, for example, uh, dot main, what does dot main mean here? So dot means the current uh, structure, so the current uh, uh, place in the tree. So dot is where all the init auth main files are on the same level. 
and main is the file which is inside of that structure so main so dot main is that so such simple concepts which uh, I will not be explaining which you can just uh, click uh, go ahead and Google search it so yeah so let's just uh, make sure that everything is correct and in the place so any.py runs your file uh, the first file which it runs we create an instance of a flask app we connect our main.py page and our odd.py page and return the app we'll talk about why it has to be named create app only uh, in a minute we have main.py so we set up the main blueprint we haven't used render template yet but we will be using it uh, in some time we have our routes so first the home route or just slash which is hello world uh, again we have profile where we can see the profile in auth we have a sign up login and logout now let's see how we can run this project so go to your uh, terminal or a command prompt see where your folder is so inside this folder we have our files but go back a bit and type this so export flask app equal to your folder name so push ups logger so what just happened why did we do this so uh, explore flask app is an environment variable a flask app uh, which is given by flask when you in pip install flask and this sets up uh, the behind the scenes for you uh, how the WSGI or the web server gateway interface works how to run the application so usually you just create a app.py file or hello.py file uh, not an any.py and you have this functionality is there but since we are going to set up an entire project we have our project name pushups logger and flask automatically looks for the create app function inside init.py and sets up everything for you so now all you have to do is to flask run and your website will be running and we can go to this point and see whether it's running or not yes as you can see we have hello world here then let's go to profile and see what happens so profile is here we have sign up so again to sign up and log in and log out yes so our website is up and running perfect uh, my debug mode is on so there is a way to do it we'll talk about this in the next video how to have a debug mode on what does a debug mode mean but for now let's just skip this you might not have this debugger uh, message here but go with it now close the application using Control c only because we have to close the port the port 5000 when we do it and now let's see what render template is all about so render template is used to actually show up HTML files using flask and how do we do that so first we need a folder with name templates the name of the folder has to be templates inside that we need some files so we need uh, let's say index.html for our main file we need uh, login.html we need sign up.html and we don't need a logout.html for now we'll talk about that uh, later for why don't we need a logout.html because we don't show a page for logging out we just click a button and it logs us out and sends us back to the index.html file so yeah now we have our uh, templates ready and let's actually set up profile again profile.html now let's render them or let's just write some really simple functions so uh, home page then sign up will have a sign up heading simple heading is to make sure that it works log in and profile so now let's render them so to render them we use uh, when we return something we return the render template and the name so index.html we do the same for all the other return values so this is going to be profile.html and for auth this is going to be sign up and for login it's going to be login Yes, so now we have set up our HTML files and we have our basic uh, render template functions ready. Let's use them now. We use flask run. 
and everything is working properly uh, let's go to the home page again and as you can see uh, the h1 tag has been rendered so the html is working with your files so this is how uh, we make a hello world in a project manner not a simple hello world but how we can do it for a project so we have our init.py which is the first file that runs when you run the project when you do flask run uh, it sets up your flask instance uh, behind the scenes uh, it registers main so that is where you can see the main functions and also the auth functions we have used a uh, blueprint to do that and to render the templates for html we use render template function and we just printed the hello world for now but in the next video we'll set up uh, more we'll talk about how to what is jinja templating uh, how to set up bootstrap etc etc so yeah see you in the next video thank you